Last time on The Empire's Edge. Wait, you're saying we sleep here in the tomb? It sounds like that book that Z is almost the kind of stuff that makes a Zarek. All right, so I don't like this. <laughs> Horns, yeah. I mean, it would totally be in character for us to light the forest as we leave. Max damage, 16 points. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kill it. I want lizard for breakfast. Mm-mm, snaking. <laughs> <laughs> it is an owl bear. Half owl, half bear, all enemy. Crawl just did 10 points of damage to it. 26 more points of damage. Crawl wouldn't have had to have done any damage to it, and that would have killed it. Jacob says, look, and over on the far shore, the other bank of this thing, you see in a copse of pine trees that most of them are alive, the largest one about the same size, there's one large dead pine tree in the middle of all of that. They're at the river. Anybody setting any kind of a conditional something before you go to sleep? Or, or are you just <clears throat> choking on something? Or are you waiting <laughs> until tomorrow to... Uh, uh, the only explore, conditional thing I can imagine, unless there's something obvious in the immediate vicinity, is to you know have our watches set before we go to bed. Yeah, always uh, got that. How how late at and night is it? Is it? Uh, are we like heading into dead of night? Typically, we get to dusk when we here's, start to set. Uh, here's what be, I'm wondering. It can be pre dusk. It's a little earlier than it usually okay. is. So we've seen that. We've seen another one of these trees now across the bank. I'm wondering if there's any way we could be making this happen. So I'm thinking about trying to speak to a friendly local animal <sighs> and, seeing, Come on. and a while. Yeah. seeing if I can get it to understand and fly around and see if it can see a tree in advance of us. I, I'm a little concerned that taking these crystal bricks out is making these trees like mm. somehow we're Killing doing a random yeah. but in tr tremendously specific tree. It, it, well, uh, yeah, or, yeah, exactly. A <laughs> randomly specific tree. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. I, I don't think it's us. If it would make you feel better to send an animal out, by all means, use the ritual that doesn't yes, cost it, any of our resources. It, exactly. And we're also about all to right. do the thing. But, and to the same point, if you think that it's that recent, you, we could go to the tree and you could do your detect magic on it. And if it's happened recently, you'd be able to glean something from that. It would make sense. Well, I could tell and if I it think your, Both of your, uh, your nature abilities, your, your sense would let you know if it's died recently, if it was just like in the past day, 24 oh, yeah. hours. And we said this or... was a small river too. We could cross it pretty easily. Yeah, you could wait yeah, across it really easily. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, well, so let's go check the tree first before I try to find a local animal who will help us. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Wrangle so... Wrangle up a dog or whatever. All... Because birds aren't local. They're way Red too transient. Robin. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> oh, good. We'll no, the, we'll then the it's not going to come to us. <laughs> <laughs> right, you guys cross the, the stream, no problem. Okay. And you're at, okay. at the other side of that. You you walk up the bankment, you cross to it. It's about 100 feet away, and you're all there at the thing. Look so. the tree up and down. Five. You're 15. doing just that. So Six. Boris is keeping watch. <laughs> so uh, Boris and Crawl are keeping watch. No, Crawl actually rolled really, really oh, well. Oh, nice. Dang. Good for her. Yeah, so uh, she's learning a lot on this trip. I rolled a twenty-three. A lot of Crawl, life experience. Crawl is pointing I'm, up right now and says, "There's that and some same death experiences." <laughs> yeah, a lot of those. Uh, there's that same thing. Uh, you, you see it there, about that, fifteen feet up. Yeah. There's that same mark where like antlers yeah, fell that, off. They've, that's, all, that's, they've that's all been about again. the fifteen foot mark, right? They have yeah. been. Okay. Yeah, they have been. Hmm. Uh, yeah. And what were your Zell and Jacob? I rolled a twenty-three. Fifteen. Yeah. So even with both of those, you can you could both say, yeah, "This thing didn't die recently. This thing's been dead for months, maybe even years." I am going to turn myself into a squirrel and run up and take a closer look and smell at that little knob thing. Does it smell like something odd? Does it? I would know that as a squirrel, right? Sure. Right. Uh, first of all, uh, that, that you don't like warn anybody. You just go, and you're into squirrel like if, that. If I wasn't looking, I'm looking this way. I look back up. There's a tree. Oh, there's a squirrel in the tree. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, the problem with that is you, that well. with your to hits, you would probably get that squirrel oh, and yeah. now it's now just pinned to the tree <laughs> and a squirrel's hanging there. About I 15 feet up. Did that. But. Yeah. Well, I will tell the team then first. No, I don't think you should. I think it's just great that you know, everybody, <laughs> goes, you know, everybody goes like <laughs> and farts because like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she can I do that. I forgot you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> that but really smaller startles than me. a deer. But the, when you run up there and you're doing just that, go ahead and roll that, uh, was that investigation? No, no, it's uh, perception, I think. Did she get any advantage for how close she is? The knot opens up and swallows her whole. <laughs> ah. Suddenly I, I am, uh, that's a 25. Wow. Unnatural. I, I actually said, I thought, what is a really extreme DC? 20 is, a, is a, a high DC when you're low levels. I thought 25 
That'd be a good DC because would there be any hint of something? It smells the way that an animal's like would when those antlers come off. It doesn't just smell like a tree branch fell off. It was like a living, you know, the tree creature. grew actual antlers. It's like the tree had antlers. Huh. Okay. So Can you describe that smell to us. I'm gonna run back down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Turn back into myself and then with that you. exact spastic motion. <laughs> I wish you could have seen that one too. No no more caffeine for you. Stop drinking so much caffeine. I Subscribe had any. to no, us so blue, that way we can include video. Flavor going I know. On. I haven't well, had we'll any put it since on this morning. Yeah, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> So describe to us in great detail what that smell is. <laughs> so it smells like animal. It doesn't smell like tree. It smells like animal. There, something I think is trying to get inside these trees so, or, or turn these trees in some way from trees to animal. Maybe it's working for a little bit and then the tree dies, but it, it smells like animal does not smell like tree. Hmm. Either so, way, it's definitively not us. Now, no yeah, one has it's checked definitely not us. since that very first one, how the tree died. I mean, you're making assumptions. Oh, that's a good point. If you'd even know to verify that. So with that my again. super high check and my running up and down the tree, did I glean some more information, perhaps? You do know definitely with nature, you would know that it did not die naturally. <laughs> that it wasn't like it was a, an insect infestation or any kind of whatever like that. It wasn't that the water table, you know, sunk beneath it or something. It was, so it was an unnatural you, you death. What about an arcane or something if you wanted oh. to check something like that. All right. I'll do that. I'll do and, that. you could all do oh, that arcane okay. check. 16. Too. Ooh, yeah. Both also like, 16. Gosh. Uh, 15. Yeah, and a 15 here uh-huh. too. We zellin' zellin'. Right? But that's... <laughs> but I still you have still a little get squirrel it. brain and I get distracted. <laughs> Boris, you were the first one to say What it. else is new? Wow. <laughs> I'll say. Boy, mean. We're the zingers today. Boy. <laughs> that you believe it is still it's been, again, you'd say, I think it's the, it died the same way, negative and energy. I share that. Hmm. I concur. So is there anything in your studies about trying to make a tree transform? You do transmutation? No. Oh. No. no, in your studies, like in your reading and in your knowledge base and your religion stuff. I, I mean, trees are very important. <laughs> is divine transubstantiation part of my religion? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually it isn't. <laughs> trees are very important to the religion though, right? A specific kind of tree. Oh, yeah. well. The Adlai. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, mm-hmm. yeah, there wouldn't be something just inherent in his, his, his religions like that. So, do you camp on this side of the creek or do you go back to the I don't want to sleep close to the dead tree, no. Yeah, yeah no, we'll I, go back. Up. We know it's bad It magic. might finish it turning into it. an animal. Yeah, let's Ooh, go back yeah. over to the other side. All right, so you go back to the other side. Uh, you can't we just roll an encounter That's for where we're already putting all our stuff anyway. True. And I'll, I'll uh, same watches crawl than you, than Zellin and me. Yeah, uh, I'll sleep in armor because there's no penalties for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you, 5e. Uh, right? Yeah, so you're going through the night and yeah, you get right through the morning and there are no, uh, anything, you know, adverse happens. There's no, there's no encounters. Nice. The, cool. the tree's just yeah. a tree. Uh, we just killed a bear, so we're probably having that for breakfast. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Owl bear. What does that taste like? <laughs> kind of like chicken. Chicken and bear. Yeah. You know. Uh, I've never eaten Gamey. an owl. I've never eaten an owl either. <laughs> Into that morning, as you're walking, uh, you notice that there is a bird up high and it is circling you. And it is in by peel. It is like a bluebird? Uh, no, it is much larger than that. It ah. is circling lower and lower and lower until you can pick it out. Victor, you go, that's Rashwan. Mm. And we were just talking about eating owls. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he didn't hear us. Right. <laughs> that's what summoned him. Right. Hail, Prince of the Donalar. Uh, and he swoops right down, right toward Speaking you. Of celestial, of course. Um, and of course, yeah. And he responds to you and he says, Boris Kersanov, uh, well met. And he lands somewhere nearby on a rock. Um, and when he alights there, uh, he says, I've searched for you. Uh, I, I had to find you and tell you. Um, are you aware of the fire in the, the ancient ruined city? Yes, we are. And then he actually, Sorry. <laughs> if it could smile, did you set it? Yes, to purge evil from that place. Um, uh, and I, I gesture to the tree and explain you know, what all we've, discovered with them and he makes a reaction too that if you want to try to uh you know do an insight, insight on him to see just what you you're, you're gauging or thinking from he wants any one of you could that are they're near awesome. looking at him five which one's insight uh oh. 25 wisdom oh. no 24 18 
Yeah, so mm. both those and uh, beat and five. crawl. Oh, sorry, it was fourteen. Yeah, crawl so. still falling over herself because an owl almost landed on her. <laughs> oh, that's right. Is this the first time they've met him too? Or no, no, they came. Yeah, they came. Yeah, 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 they were the there. second time. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so it's still a pretty impressive thing. But you do notice at first, Zelen. Heck, it's pretty impressive as, to me. <laughs> as Rashwan is listening to Boris and says just that, there's something about just the way he like you know, like you know turns his head, twists his head a little bit, um, that you believe that this is corroborating information that he's already had. Uh, that some kind of an evil, he explained the whole tree thing, mm -hmm. um, and you guys are probably pointing to the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it was just back, you know, it's, it's not right, right over there. there, yeah. Because, well, you guys, it was like into the morning, so it isn't like it was like, it's not right over there. You guys have oh, been walking Oh, th this the isn't day. as we've broken camp? Uh, no, this is after that. Okay. Um, but you're pointing back to where the other one was, and he said, that is interesting because there is something, there's something moving through the woodland right now um, that I wasn't aware of until... That fire, the smoke from that fire traveled to me. And when that smoke reached me, I realized that there is a tree that is not a tree. And it moves somewhere in the wilderland between the great gate and the, the realm of the place uh, where, and he's looking at Crawl right now. Um, and you, Weldon. You, we called it Weldon, but he doesn't know. And yeah. Weldon, that there is something that travels through there. It's a tree, but it's a lie. It's a tree, and the tree desires to walk, to flee from itself, but it can't. And then it dies in its own desire. And then a new tree dies the same way. Uh, and something is killing these trees, not to kill the tree, but it's using the tree to hide and protect itself as it moves across this wasteland. And I've only been aware of it when that first tree burned. Are you familiar yeah. with a Krenlin knight, um, possibly a king called Michael? Um, yeah, he searches his own knowledge and he says, I'm not, I've never heard uh, of the, the human kings. This, this Michael um, has been communicating with us as a spirit and in written messages, um, he expressed that uh, an undead entity called Abner had an avatar in the Horned One, and that this aspect of himself was the only version that could escape his tomb. Perhaps these trees and this Horned One are related. I've heard tell of a King Abner, but I don't know what land or realm he was from, but just that he was the king that wouldn't die, and he still walks the earth, so stories have said. Mm. Beyond Ooh. that, I don't know from where he was uh, I assume that it was something that came from the Confederation or from the Corman Empire. It would seem the Kremlin Protectorate. But I also came to warn you. I came to warn you first and smelled the smoke afterward. I came to you uh, that there is a movement of the, the tall ones like yours, giants. Uh, the stink of them is crossing the land, uh, that there seems to be more of them moving into this area, uh, following the, the Regtet Hegyek Mountains, uh, avoiding the lands of your size people. I don't know what that means, but we had talked about things that are unusual, things that are different, mm -hmm. that we would uh, keep each other informed. And so I brought this information to you. Thank you for the warning, Your Grace. And just earlier today, I saw something that I haven't seen in this region in my lifetime or heard tell in recent lifetimes. I saw a young, uh, uh, barely a hatchling, but I saw a dragon, uh, oh. merely a wormling, but a dragon nonetheless. Uh, and it was flying also ahead of me in the direction of the gate of the ages. Are you relaying this as it's happening? Or yeah, just... I'll, I'll translate as, as we go. Does he have any specific information about the type of dragon he saw? It was green. Oh, okay. I, I know, I know that you get information does, from that. I don't know. Does what it he means. think these yeah. things are related? Does he think that something? I think they're related. I know, but does he yeah. think that that something has woken all of this up? Is there is there a different shift that he might be aware of? I'll ask. Um, yeah, he's putting these things together. Uh, go and roll that insight on him. All okay. of us. Yeah, you could all do that. Sixteen. Nine. I have to re-roll. I had a good one before. Uh, Fourteen. He says, I don't understand it. These things wouldn't be things that in nature should be together. It's as though something that is not in nature is somehow drawing them if they are being drawn together. But it seems too great 
to be a coincidence that it happens at the same time. Agreed. Were the tall people also moving to the gate of ages? Were the giants? They were. They're heading in that direction. Mm. Damn it. Well, it that's seems, where we're going. Yeah, it seems that that's, that's our locus. So we go there and we fight evil. <laughs> kind of our bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... Hopefully out of the reach of giants. How high do we have to be? So every, so all this <laughs> bad stuff has woken up and it's all heading towards the gate of ages. Mm-hmm. Do you think he'd scope out the gate of ages for us and see if it's glowing or turned yeah, on or I, has a I, I wizard ask, standing on top of it? I would <laughs> ask him too specifically, but I'd ask him to send scouts. Um, he nods his head and he says, um, Kirsanov, I, I understand why you want me to do this, but dragons there, I could not fight even a wormling one on one or send a scout to do that. They'd be even in a lesser position of course. to survive. Um, and the dragons themselves, uh, they breathe a gas that would destroy us. I couldn't send one of my people into that. Of course. That's a very good point. Yeah. So we'll look into it. Is, we'll safeguard the gate. Is the village okay? Have any of these things attacked the village? The um, Well, he well expressed done. that he's just seen well the done. one dragonling so far and the, the giants were avoiding we're avoiding it that's true you, the, okay. the and were you talking that. about uh, weldon when you said that mm -hmm. yeah so he hasn't really anything about that um but uh, you know on the, the question mm -hmm. uh when i saw weldon last um weldon uh was prospering uh more of the people that are there are are bringing themselves together they're developing and building more and there's more uh connection between that place and the place that you came from boris the 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 warland that's heartening i'm glad to hear it um and uh he asks you what direction was that other tree um and i give him direction from where we currently are and then to the one we had had the day before that it seemed to be following a line also to the gate of the ages as well and did you guys tell him about the uh, the owl bear or just leave that out i leave that out okay <laughs> um all right so then uh um he said uh he's, then he, he says well then I must away and back to my people. Uh, as things shift and change, we must make sure that we are defended uh, and protected against a flying creature. Usually just the, the height above the, the platforms of people like yourselves is enough to keep us safe. But now that these things are flying, all of my people are in great danger. Good hunting and farewell. I must away and farewell to you. And he takes off to the air again and flies in the direction you indicated in a general way mm -hmm. and is in a minute or so he's gone okay so his he his people are definitely probably more valuable than most typical woodland animals not trying to be solve right. your friends selling but if you might if you might find a bird or something that could be much more much less obvious flying near yeah, the gate like, you could probably send yeah, a smaller arrow or even a hawk yeah, yeah something like that if we could find one you could send it to the gate and potentially have it return with information um okay it, what what do we want it to just see if there if things appear to be gathering at the gate? Yeah, it um, won't be able to say. Oh, I definitely saw yeah, giants. It just says like I saw really big, big things and winged reptiles yeah. and and the likelihood of a dogs are breeding fire. A and, small bird making it there and back is much more highly likely than a gigantic owl making it there and back. Okay, it, it would be less obvious. That's, yeah. that's all very um, true. I can certainly try casting animal handling. Uh, uh, ca speak, with uh, animal? speak with animals. Animal handling is like trying to ride a horse. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's. I will training instead animal. do the ritual if we have the time, because then yeah. it doesn't yeah, cost us the time. Because yeah, we were just starting. It was just pre-dusk. And we were starting to um, do set up a, a. No, no, no that, that was last night. That was last night. This is the morning. We, we've this been is, walking for a few. You've been hours. walking for a way. Oh. So let's take a lunch break, and I am going to cast speak with animals. Okay, you do. Um. I pull out a bear meat sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Where'd you get the bread? Oh, it's, it's, it's just it's more, just meat. more bear it's, meat. It's lizard bear lizard. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a double down chicken sandwich from KFC. The real question is, where'd you get the mustard from? <laughs> well, that Someone's actually, herbalist kit. Yeah, really. No issue. You'd have balls of basically dried mustard, and then you just add vinegar until it's a paste. Nice. There you go. All right. So, yes, there are various kinds of birds. The um, Probably the, the most typical around here would be um, uh, red-headed and red-bellied woodpeckers, and there's also crows. Oh, I'm going to get a crow because okay. they're smarter. All right. And ask it to... Definitely. They don't bash their face into to trees. The, to, <laughs> to the gate. Ask it if it'll go to the gate and um, look for gatherings. And look to see if there's anything gathering at the gate. And what's the duration again for this spell? Uh, 10 minutes. 
That's your ability to speak with the animal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The duration is 10 minutes. You gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with the beast for the duration. The knowledge and awareness of the beast is limited by their intelligence. At a minimum, beasts can give you information about nearby locations and monsters, including whatever they can perceive or have perceived within the past day. Okay, oh, so, so you can ask it what it's perceived, but you're not going to be able to send it on a scouting you mission. You might be able to persuade a beast to perform a small favor for you at the GM's discretion, who happens to be my husband. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> yeah, but are these the super smart druid bluebirds? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're wow. not those bluebirds. It's a crow. Even, even if there's a small chance. I would recommend you start by asking it what it's seen. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So I will ask, um, oh, we've heard of gatherings towards the big gate. Have you seen that? There is much to eat at the big gate. Uh, more and more dead things are there. And at night when things are sleeping, um, my people and I, my beings, whatever you want to call it, uh, we swoop down and there is much to eat. So as, as we're having this exchange, I'm going to share it with um, Boris and Jacob and Kroll so they can also... Um, so crows do eat like the carcasses, like carrion of... Uh, yeah. Of, yeah. Okay. yeah, crows yeah. eat carrion, yeah. Um, what you're eating, has it moved there during the day? Uh, we eat all sorts of things that, uh, were, uh, animals that walked around that area, uh, but they're being killed by, uh, large things like you, but larger and, uh, and other things that fly. Lizards with wings. Lizards with wings. You say that, Zalyn? Yeah. I guess, yeah, I forgot how we said that works in this one. Dr. Doolittle all, style. Dr. Doolittle style. Yeah. That, uh, yes, lizard with wings. Lizards with wings. You've seen dead lizards with wings? No, the lizards with wings are eating things. Oh, okay. Have you seen a tree that moves? No. Um, Have you seen trees die for no reason? Have you seen trees die for no reason? Roll a percentage on that one. And can we also return back? She, it, it did say lizards, plural, like multiple flying lizards? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, it, uh, it hasn't seen. And out of the ordinary, there's dead right. trees all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Have you landed in a tree that smells like an animal? Uh, no. What else could we ask it? Dragons. Uh, have yeah. you seen um, people like us, but much bigger? You, you, you already, said, already that. said that. Yeah. How many do you think you saw? Um, have you seen Have you seen the, the same number as are here? Here? Um, I don't know how to answer that because there's the four of you and then there's the other, like a full claw, five. What? Nine. That's not good. There, there's nine giants there. Oh. Um, I, I think what you were like, you, your I thought it just implied. told us that there was a fifth person here with I us right too. now. I did too. That freaked me out. No, he's saying that there's there's five more, and he turns his head and points over, which would be ten out to to downstream from where you are right now. How long would it take you to fly to where the giants are? You know, five hundred wing beats, like five minutes. Okay. Um, okay. Less. So they are. So these giants are very close to us. Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, ask it if there's anything like it's probably been what in the area direction? for a while. Does it know anything? Has anything changed about the gate itself? Uh, okay, so have you seen any change at the gate? Uh, the gate is the gate. There's just people that walk in it now. People that walk in it. People like our size people or giant or bigger. There, there's one that's your size. Most are bigger. Do Most they walk through and come out the other side? Uh, the, there, there is no through. When you go through the gate of the ages. Uh, you see the slag mark desert. Yeah. Okay. Smart bird. Yeah. I'm afraid um, you slag mark. Crow, yeah. You see the Smart big, bird knows gate of the ages in the slag mark desert. <laughs> um, but in response to one of the questions you posed, I guess, via Boris, um, he just says, uh, I'll, I'll take you. And he flies over to a tree, looks back over your shoulder, over his shoulder at you. Uh, are we moving on the same line? Uh, uh, I'm assuming this is response to... Which direction are the giants? Right. Um, it's not the exact line. Jacob would say, we should go that way right through there. It's not too far off of that track. He's going as the crow flies. Do, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we no. want to go to where the nine giants are. I think we want to go around where the nine giants are. I mean, well, already... let's confirm that there's hostiles and not it's another adventuring party. Um, so yeah. you just want to try to go peek at them? Is that our yes. idea? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, eyes on the eyes on the prizes. Okay, we well, eyes on the hostiles. Do we want to trans? Do do I want to transfer then and transform into another animal? Because then I could go and look at them, follow the bird, go and look at them without all of us possibly getting detected by them. I dislike the idea of you being without support, but that seems like the best avenue for now. Um. Okay. How long does your change last? Uh, an hour. 
Mm. Um, I, I don't. Are you going to be able to get to a point where you could see the gate from there, or I just want to see with the the all I'm looking We've at right now is the giants. giants nearby. Yeah, oh. I just want to know. That's all I'm going to go look at. I'm not going to go look at the gate. I'm going to go look to see where the giants are. Oh, okay, not the giants at the gate. Just there are giants near us. That's right. what okay. that's what the crows yeah. imply. That's the part yeah, that, that I that missed. Okay, right. there's. But by the sounds of it, five giants yeah. near us. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm going to change into, I'm going to tell the crow that I'm going to change into a rat. Um, just, what? Oh, yeah, you can't fly, never mind. And um, so that I can follow. So if the crow will leave me as a rat. Okay. You probably know that a, a squirrel is probably even better suited for you know, going tree to tree and jumping along. Oh, and that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I'll change into a squirrel. I've already okay. been a squirrel, but fine. I'll change into a squirrel again. <laughs> you wanted to be a rat last I love the time. whole bohemian dance what kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you be do just ferret. that. And uh, are, are you expecting everyone else to follow you or just wait right no, here? They, they're going to wait and okay. I'm going to f- follow the crow to All right, go So peek. The hand silver she just gave us, I pictured like squirrel Zelen holding up a paw, says stay. Stay. <laughs> and then just zips off. I'm following the crow so that I can peek at the giants, get some intel and come back and tell them. Within a few minutes, Ooh. you reach a, a, a place with, yeah, it's very, very close. Uh, that's why the, the crow was not understanding that this was, you know, is there really something that's, you know, more than you? Yeah, they're right there. Isn't this close enough together to be a part of your count? Right. That you get to a place where the ground falls very steeply, and this was fairly north and a little bit east of where you where you had been with the rest of the group, and you can tell that if there had been a stream here, there'd be a waterfall. You know, it, it, the ground drops pretty, pretty, pretty steeply, and when you get close to the edge of that, you get to the edge of those rocks, and you're looking down, you can see way down in this dell, down below you, at the base of this rough cliff-like area, not not a sheer cliff, but this change in um, elevation that there are a group of giants. There's five of them in like a moving party. They, they're just kicking back. They're leaning against uh, trees and rocks. Uh, one of them is awake, clearly looking around, uh, and the other four seem to be asleep. Okay. So there's only, there's only I only see five there. Correct. Okay. Um, okay. What else? I don't know anything else that I'd want to observe about them. I, I observe anything I need to report to Boris about these giants. Okay. <laughs> I observe all <laughs> giant <Jacob>. information. <laughs> well, because Boris is, you know, like the person who knows stuff. Jacob just Screw shot. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. All right. So uh, you look at him for a moment. Yeah. Taking in like stuff. And yep. uh, then. Give a little squirrely wave to the crow and run back to my friends. Yeah. The the then the crow flies away. Yeah. Uh, and you run back to your, your people. So it's just been like, you know, six, seven minutes. Yeah. And then poof, you're back to Zelen. Yeah. Um, s- northeast of here, there's a drop off. Probably was a waterfall at some point. There's not a waterfall there anymore. There are five giants in a group. Four of them were sleeping. One of them clearly on watch. Armed? Armored? Yes. Uh, no armor. No but, armor. But they did have uh, weaponry. Uh, most of them had clubs. Uh, one of them had what looks like a big sword. Any indication as far as where the other four yeah. are? Yeah, tribal markings. Well, no, we were the other four. Oh. That there's the four of us and then five elsewhere. I really misunderstood that bird. Got it. It has um, a bird brain. Jacob, don't worry about it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Don't uh, worry, any, I, I, I don't know yeah, stuff. Tribal markings. Zelly, you saw no tribal markings on them. Uh, I saw no tribal injuries, markings on them. Injuries, uh, burns, <laughs> cuts, scrapes. You did see scars. Yeah, there's different scars. Like but nothing different fresh? Um, you didn't see anything that was fresh, like, you know, a fresh wound on any of them. Uh, any sign of what they've been eating? Yeah, it looks like, um, like medium-sized game. Uh, deer, yeah. mule deer, things like that. Hmm. Boars, if they can get them, yeah. Um, Let's go around. Yeah, it will... We're, Are they in the direction we need to go? They'd be behind us. Well, if you if you followed the direction you're going to, yeah, they're, you're going to lose them further to your north. Mm-hmm. But if they do track toward the Gate of the Ages, then, then we're going to have to. It's going to be a, to a line that's going to be getting narrow and narrow okay. closer we, to you. Um, oh yeah, we already and we already crossed back on the. Do we want to cross the river again if it goes in the same direction? That might put something that maybe just maybe they won't decide to cross a river even for a small reason. So we'll keep that in mind as you move forward if you come across any natural, you know, barriers or boundaries. Yeah, I was like just that. wondering if we could like somehow poison them or foul their water or um, drop an avalanche on them. I could do thunder wave. Yeah, that is what I was thinking about. I, it's But if you fail that. Yeah, if it doesn't trap them. Then they are pissed. Yeah. Um, 
I really dislike the idea of not only having hostiles behind us, but five literally giant hostiles between us and our route out. Yeah, but I really don't want to tie. Yeah, we them. can't. We can't. I don't think we can fight five giants. Though, no, though. definitely not. Um, I'd be nervous fighting one. Yeah, the. I mean, I could try to lure one out at at a time. No, um, no right? No, 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 no. Yeah, if we the, dig a trench. And yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um, all right, so you guys ready to move on? It sounds awful having yeah. it behind us, but we, we just need to move. We'll, yeah, we'll, we're not we'll do whatever we can to make sure that they're not, not taking the same path we are by well, taking it. they're heading to the same destination. It yeah, doesn't but matter. At, if, at, at least if, if our paths aren't the same, there's no chance of if we stop earlier than they do, there's no chance of them catching up to us. Mm, fair. If we take a different trail. Uh, until we get closer to the gate itself. And yeah. Zell and Ply would have related that topographically, they're on the lower side of you know, a natural fall, a yeah. natural fall. Yeah. There's not like you're on an escarpment, but they're definitely on the lower end of that. So mm -hmm. if they just follow the easiest way, and if that wrinkle in the, in the, the topography stays there, they're always going to be on the lower side of that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you guys proceed. Just on. a matter of trying to drop some portion of that yeah. topography on. I wish I understood what's calling all these things to the gate of ages. What I wonder is if Abner is somehow influencing the roots. Mm. Yeah. That, that there's that powerful device there and he's used some knowledge contained in that one crystal i'd hate to think corrupt it or at least use it as like a beacon or something are hill giants always evil i mean would they respond to that same dark magic that's killing these trees one would assume okay all right so you guys walk through uh the rest of this day uh i'd imagine probably a little bit slower despite this still being your favorite terrain jacob mm -hmm. Uh, just because you're aware that there's potentially hostiles on the ground mm -hmm. uh, and in the as, air, as well as hostiles in the air, it's become a, a much more dangerous place just to move from one place yeah. to the next. Glad you came along, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, again, Carl just looks at you and just rolls her eyes. She's like, I thought this is just going to be, you know, uh, camping. Camping. Me yeah. too, yeah. man. Yeah, to, to, to walk through here and get to just that. Don't blame me. And, and I didn't I, bring the jet. I have one thing about being a ranger that I've never used before. All right that I think would actually be a good use here. And as we get to a point as we're moving, I plan it out to where as we're getting closer and closer to camp, I'm going to do it periodically. These are, and it's it's a swap out for my spell slot, but it's okay. the um, primeval awareness. Okay. I can spend a sl spell slot and sense whether there are aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, or undead within a mile. Elementals, fiends, fey, or undead. Six. If we're in my favorite terrain. Giants. Yeah. And giants were the one right before. Or right, not giants, no, no. Dragons. 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 Within dragons. six miles because we're in your favorite terrain. Yeah. Nice. Wow. That is really Good cool. Good stuff. Yeah, so, that's, a, that's a neat one. Breaking it up to where I'll do that like periodically as we're getting closer to next time we'd be setting up camp, just doing it now, maybe four hours later, four hours after that. Okay. Just to kind of keep a keep an eye on whether or not one of those things is getting close to us. All right. So from where you are right now, let's say that, you know, if you were to do it in four hours... Uh, four hours later, it's going to be full on dark. Okay. So you could probably do like three okay. and three for I was dusk. Just, yeah, I just pictured four hours just saying like, if we're if we're 12 right. hours until we're going to be setting up camp, I would do that. But if it's if it's going to be four hours, then I'd do it like and, and right now and then maybe in an hour, a little over an hour, and then another gotcha. hour after that. So you do it right now and uh, you don't get any pings back. You okay. feel like you're, you're fully you know, clear at the moment. And they're probably, if, do you relate that to everyone? Yeah, I tell them what I'm doing, that I'm-, I'm <laughs> Yeah, sigh of relief comes yeah. from all over the place. Uh, you could crawl shoulders, relax just a little bit. Um, but then you move on. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I definitely want to have Dragon Slayer as part of my titles. I'm not sure I'm ready for that point in my career yet. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard Slayer seemed big enough not too long ago. Yeah, right. And then in, you said in an hour? Yeah, hour, hour 15. Okay, so in an hour, you do the same thing, and... And I, it also tells me those other things. So if, if there are, you know, celestials or dragons, elementals, fae. Undead. Undead, Undead, fiends. right, yeah, all those things. Aberrations, that's a good Aberrations one. was it, yeah. Gricks. <laughs> so in an hour, uh, you're like, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 everybody down, get covered right now. Yeah. And go ahead and roll in it. Oh, <laughs> Just so we know we uh, are in all of this. Nine. Uh, nine. Twenty. Oh. <laughs> uh, so Jacob, first one to react and- um, Fitting. Uh, crawl was at 12. Uh, it's like, you know, down, cover this way. No, no, the other side of the tree, the other side of the tree, because flying right over your position is a green dragon wormling. Comes Ooh. flying right over you guys. And that it came into your, your, your field of awareness, flew right over you guys at a tremendous speed. And then 
you, you lose it in the trees, but you can still feel it. And then it goes out of your, your range of, uh, of, uh, detection. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. But it had no idea that we were. No, I, I rolled for it. It wasn't looking nice. down at you guys. I was watching the gate up ahead. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh, happy I did that. Yeah, right. I, I just as got I was breezed by him. Because as soon as they were mentioning that, I'm like, I've read something about dragons on my character sheet, and I saw that I have that thing, and it specifically mentions dragons. I'm like, oh, there's no way I'm not casting this. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and then moving on, you still have a, a few hours of daylight. Uh, let's hang tight for a good five, six minutes, just in case yeah. there's another couple that sweep. Maybe they travel in pairs, who knows? Just Packs. Yeah, yeah. Stop for a second and just wait, and as soon as we are positive that at least that one got really far away and nothing was taking up the slack behind it and then setting back out. Uh, how long is the duration on that spell-like ability? Or it, is it spell? It is a spell. Okay, on that um, spell. Uh, one minute. Okay, so we'll wait off, We'll wait the full minute. No. Okay. Um, at, during that time, that way over on your right-hand side, so that would be toward the west, you get another hit about three quarters of a mile away a dragon going in the opposite direction. Okay. And then it, it leaves your periphery. And just as that minute's winding out, you can tell there's something cutting across would be your stern at about three quarters of a mile away. And then you lose that okay. perception. But it didn't feel uh, like any of them were moving. like we're being orbited. So, yeah. So is it one flying around us or is it three? When, yeah. When did the pings come in? Did they, did they come in at a reasonable time where it may have been able to fly that way or would it have been a completely different animal? You could imagine that it was like tracking a big circle around um, you. It could have been that one. What was the distance? Uh, at about three quarters of a mile. What's your range? Six miles. Oh, I, I thought it was a mile. A mile, but six in my favorite terrain. I see. Okay, my bad. Then you would have tracked it the whole time. Did it flew? It was still in that area, and then did a crazy Ivan. You know, pulled to the right, okay. and started circling you guys, like your position, and it looped, like was completely looping around you, was just behind you, and was heading over to as you're facing, you know, you know, south, the other side from where it first curved, and then the actual spell winks out. So okay. it was making a loop around your position. Great. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, hey, look on the bright side. Things. We didn't die today. Day's okay. not over. Yeah. Well, thanks. Okay. And then moving on. He said it so I didn't have to. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Head on a swivel. Get prepped to no hit kidding. a dragon with a stick. <laughs> yep. And, and then you're going to do that again in an hour? Yeah. Just, I think now just before bed. Okay. Um, let me just roll as that's happening. The way the ground is moving, you're being forced a little more to uh, the east as okay. you're as you're heading, you know, south and east. Um, and you realize, just looking at the topography, you're getting closer and closer to the the, the wrinkle in the land. You think mm -hmm. Zolm was talking about. So if those giants are following that that oh, that heck. that same contour on the lower side of it, you're getting closer and closer to the upper side of it. That if you try to move away, you know, further to the west you know, getting away from the top of that, you're getting into rougher terrain where you'll be more exposed. Gotcha. Bang's the don't, enemy. This is a bad spot. Don't like that at all. But yeah. Um, uh, so we're getting to a point where we know we're going to be running out of cover because uh, yeah, just the way Unless you the, stay close to that. that Yeah. So giants are no cover. Giants or dragons. <laughs> Honestly, it'll be a lot easier to hit a, hit a giant, but we only have to fight one dragon that yeah. we know of. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm betting a wormling is significantly smaller than a dragon. So, I'd rather take on a wormling at a. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I'd say, despite it sucking, let's yeah. go for less cover and keeping our eyes in the sky as often as <laughs> at our right. feet, as opposed to accidentally tripping into a troop of giants. Yeah, I don't feel like being Stu, man. <laughs> you are. I'm Boris. Moving that way, and you're almost not going tree to tree, but it feels like that. Yeah, right. yeah. And you you realize as you glance at everybody else, like you know, head on a swivel that you're all walking a little bit hunched down mm. uh, as you're, you're moving just this way. And you couldn't even help it. You're just like doing that like naturally or instinctively. Uh, and you're proceeding in that direction. Definitely uh, going to be a cold camp tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And y you get to a time where we've got to make camp. There's been no further encounter, uh, but you feel that you should be making a camp at this point. Yeah. Uh, I'll swap out for, um, maybe I'll take your second watch and then I'll do my spell in the middle of the night. Versus doing it first That's thing in the morning. Call, yeah. All right. Yeah, so then I'll be on morning watch. Okay, sounds good. So uh, I guess Crawl's taking the first yeah, one. Yeah, Crawl, Jacob, Zell, and Boris. Got it. And 
yeah, the, the first watch. I'm rolling more encounter watches because, uh, or counter potentials. Because there's a lot to encounter. There's just yeah, there's much, much more as you get on. into this area. Um, Zelen. And you, and you cast your spell on your watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, when you do just that, um, you don't get a hit on a dragon in this area, um, but you are getting what would be tantamount to a residual undead oh. within six miles of you. Okay. Um, it's... Hmm. It's on the periphery, or it was recently on the periphery. It's almost like there is an undead thing there, and it's not an undead thing there. So an after image? Kind of. Mm -hmm. um, you're also wondering if maybe one of those negative energy yeah. killed trees- Yeah, I was about to say a massive blast of negative energy. Yeah, is uh, is registering to you that one of those trees is still nearby. Okay, yeah, that's good to or know. Or is nearby where you are right now. Um, and then we go through, I already rolled for the other one. So, uh, Boris morning is coming on, um, and, uh, your watch is about over and there's been no encounter through the night. Okay. Good news. Good news. Yeah, right. Benefits of a long rest. Thank heavens for small mercies. And set up. We don't have a, I can really a camp to break down. No campfire or anything. Yeah. So we're ready to go. Your be a bed rolls and weapons. And take we take a bite of whatever leftover cooked uh owl bear meat you still had left over or lizard and head out on your way yeah, breakfast right. to champions okay so give me a survival that you're finding the best track because as you're taking point on this jacob uh you're really letting them know where to walk because it is like walking through a minefield uh, to find the best cover as you're going through it and that is an unnatural 20. oh very nice, nice. Yeah. nice. so uh you're leading them very well that despite the fact there's very little little cover staying away, away from where that that, that wrinkle in the earth is, um, you're getting the maximum out of the cover that you possibly can. Awesome. And you go through the majority of the day just this way. Keep an, uh, like I said, we're also watching the skies because that's- Yeah, skies, horizon, time. near territory. There could be hostiles literally anywhere. Yeah. As you pause and you're like, you know, let's just, let's just pause for a minute. Uh, you're at a stream, uh, everybody's getting water you can hear something crunching up ahead of you, like big, like crunching through brush, uh, not heading toward you, but it's as though it was on a skewed angle and it's over to your right. It's not down over that drop off where those giants had been, but it sounds big like a giant and it's over on the right hand side. It's a good cover. Yeah. Um, so everybody go ahead and um, uh, roll your perceptions. Ooh. 15. Unnatural 20. Unnatural 20. Okay, so... And how about Crawl? Oh, oh I yeah. already wrote... Uh, crawl rolled uh, a... Uh, poorly. Uh, uh, it was <laughs> rolled a, four, a poorly. It was, a, it was a 14. I think I already... already oh, yeah. um, And then whatever your abilities to hide or get camouflage are, go ahead and roll oh, that. What's no. that? Um, stealth. On stealth for your Ooh, dexterity. Thing, stealth is my best bonus. The thing I have disadvantage with because oh. I'm in armor. Uh, 22. Wow. Not oh, God. <laughs> That's wow. Can I pull a second? No, not woohoo. I'm at disadvantage from my oh, armor. Oh, no. Can I pull a second one? Oh, so close. I'm at uh, 16. Yeah, um, but that 14-year-old, that was like one tip of the die from another 20. Yeah, that right. Was really I almost good. had it. And yeah. I am at 21. 21, 26. Ooh. Krull and the magnet's the magnet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Krull, Krull stands up very still. Um, and 16. Yes, sir. I'd like to use my stealth to get up in the tree if that's also a possibility. No, not at oh. this moment. I'm mean, I have yeah. to roll an additional athletic I'm check. I'm sneaking. Russell, 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 Russell. Oh, yeah. I have to roll <laughs> okay. an additional like uh, athletic so check. So it is quite apparent that Crawl is not as good at this as the rest of you. Boris is surprised that he is as good as the rest of you. <laughs> um, that it really looks like Jacob and Zelen about disappeared behind cover. Uh, and yeah, then, I'm aware I'm shiny. <laughs> and boar straps down a little, you know, not as hidden, uh, but crawl looks almost to be out in the open. I can cast a fog cloud. Oh, <laughs> huh, strange weather we're having suddenly. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sudden fog. Right there, concentrating on the person who's <laughs> Yeah, there's like a, a column of fog. That won't draw anybody's attention oh, right there. <laughs> that looks refreshing and just walks into it. And as he's walking... Um, it stops, it turns, and it yells in its own language. And it, apparently it's yelling to um, Crawl and says, uh, you do, do any of us speak giantish? Uh, it's, it's speaking- Or is it yelling in common? It's yelling in what's like tantamount to a common, like oh. in a broken oh. common. Huh. And says, uh, you, this is to Crawl, 
You must hurry and make meeting. Don't wait here. And then keeps on walking. What? It's, <laughs> it's only about 30, 30 feet away when it does that. Holy oh Moses. God. And Crawl does what's tantamount to a little salute. <laughs> you know, and pulls some water yourself. from her water. <laughs> From her water skin as though she paused to get a drink and then sits down and cries. Yeah, what's the composure skill? Like, what would that one be? Deception. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. So. All right. Oh. <laughs> can, can we so pause for a cigarette? <laughs> he's, that giant is really on a line that is uh, about, at this moment, probably about 50 feet ahead of you. Make it to the meeting. He must assume that Crawl's going with you know to the same location for the same reason he is but yeah, i know i know not, but that tells us that there's a meeting but yeah and they're not being aggressive towards anyone else in the area with the assumption that they're going to this meeting right what is it why would anybody else be going there right well with that thought we may be able to just bluff our way through i mean yeah. I, can is look, it, I can look evil is it big <laughs> risk big reward time because I think it's big risk, big reward time. So what are you guys going to do? I'm going to put on my big boy pants and pretend to be evil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kill Crawl and become an Oathbreaker and be evil? Um, wow. No, don't kill I mean, Crawl. I mean, is that really an achievement? What? Killing <laughs> Crawl. <laughs> Just about everything's killed Crawl. <laughs> Aww, yeah, but crawl. I poor haven't. Crawl. That's my point. Yeah, no. All right. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, let's... Once, once he's passed, then we just go openly. Is there anything that we need to hide on ourselves that would indicate um, we're not evil? Like, are you wearing a knave symbol? Yeah, or... but it's under my armor. Okay. Um, anything else we can think of that would like it's probably the, be clear? Um, like Nord our Coast. like our we're a good guy mm -hmm. name tag on my shield. <laughs> I'm <laughs> bad, and that's good. Well, I've <laughs> I've got the feather markings from the bugbears. Yeah, you know, that, that's that's a good idea. Yeah, yep, if they're that's aware good. of like regional things, that's a point in my favor here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, we're not exactly bedecked in blood and skulls, but that's just not traveling gear. Get yeah. Caught on stuff. <laughs> that's yeah. Sunday good. I reach into my stuff. alchemy bag. We can be. What do you guys want? <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of poison Sorry, here. <laughs> like sticking stingers all over your armor. We had poison. We could have poisoned the giant. <laughs> 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 I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then we have to get close enough to their food and hope it's enough to kill them. True. All right, but yeah, uh, I I'm good with just walking openly. I mean, it, it, yeah, let's try give it. A shot. Yeah. All right, so you guys I've got a plus four on deception. Have you, have you prepared your long strider spell this like on this day? No, uh. I did the I did fog instead. Long strider would just make me run. Would we really want me to? Are out you that? able to cast that on other people? Or are you able uh -huh. to cast it more than once? How many? Is it multiple people per casting or? Let's find out, shall yeah, we? Yeah, because it right. might be really useful Let's if shout. we have that, because then you could put that on Boris and myself and turn yourself into a uh, uh, a uh, squirrel or a deer, and, and then we could run. Yeah, or and just, crawl. Damn it! Um, Cole rides on the deer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can, at, at second level or higher, I can target an additional creature. So for you each could affect two people. Slot level above first. She can't cast third level spells because we're not fifth yet. Damn. So I yeah. could, yeah, so I could do two people. And then. Yeah, so it's all Maybe a matter of. We could, ask, we is, could tell is your, Crawl to we. Is your ability to change into another uh, being? Is that what level spell is that, or is that a druid ability? Um, that is a druid ability. Okay, so it would take a second level spell slot and a first level spell slot to target three people, and then she uses her druid ability. She, we would still be able to three of us. Have How long, long does Longstrider last, and is it concentration? Longstrider is transmutation, not concentration. It lasts for an hour. There you go. Okay. And your wild shape lasts for an hour too. My wild shape lasts. For an hour. Yeah. Nice. So that'll be the fastest. So. Her changing shape would be the fastest yeah. for her. Getting you guys three out of us as fast would, as you could. Yeah. yeah. So there's there. that's our getaway plan in case like. It Is that really, I guess for tomorrow when you have that Really go already, sideways. Right? Yeah. Sideways. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have to prepare it for tomorrow because I didn't prepare it for today. Yeah. Oh, here's the one thought. How, how, how much speed increase is there for long strider versus becoming a deer or whatever? I don't know. Well, we, we, we decided how, how that. How much the, does long strider increase your speed? The target speed increases by 10 feet and until the spell ends. I thought oh. deer was like 50 feet. Yeah, so it is still better for her to turn into a deer, but that's something that only she can do. Right, but that's what I'm saying, that she's outpacing us then. Unless, unless she just runs a little slower. Uh, yeah, unless she's deliberately going slowly. Speed is 50 feet on a yeah. deer. Yeah, yeah. Which means you can move at 100 feet per round and we can move at 80. Yeah. All right, so 
you guys walk, you just step out into the open. Mm-hmm. And once, it, once this giant's passed. Hey, if I take a short rest, I can prepare it. Do you want to take a short rest before we do all this? Uh, let's just keep moving. Yeah. Okay. All right. So with all that, I guess you were, as you're sitting yeah. there having a little bit of a snack, you're kind of planning yeah, how do we, what's, we, yeah, what's we're our still, exit strategy? Because this sounds really, really crazy Because we still think we have a day, maybe two days before we get to the gate. And that's our plan for if we're at the gate and this whole pretending to be like them thing doesn't work. That's so, our game. Uh, and we're just plan. abandoning qu- crawl? No, no. That- no. First level spell <laughs> slot on her and then second level spell slot, you'll get the two of us. Oh, okay. All yeah. Right. Okay. So again, you guys are, you're walking through the rest of the day. You give, I guess, a few minutes lead. You know, let that giant yeah. get a few minutes lead so you're not yeah. right on its heels. Because who knows, maybe he'd want to turn on and walk with friends and stay with you guys. Yeah, or discuss stuff that I we am, haven't experienced. Yeah. So down with that. <laughs> Deception yeah. roll. <laughs> how, how, how quickly can you build a new character? With this lovely online tool that I've been using. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 <laughs> very yeah, quickly. Yeah. Quit, sponsor us, sponsor quit, us. Quit the plug. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no, they no. Haven't no paid I, for I, it yet. They, yeah. don't, they don't get it. I don't want to, to die, but... Honestly, it seems like it'd be such a cool way. I start assuming, pumping the giant for information. <laughs> exactly. I mean, assuming that the whole entire encounter with it seeing crawl and it not going poorly wasn't just a fluke, it'd be fantastic to walk with the next thing because we learned so much well, before we're we assuming died. it's not a fluke before we walk into dragon country. I- I'd say True. we avoid when we can and bluff when we can't. True. So, so as you are walking for the rest of the day, you notice that you're passing or you're aware you're passing probably the last of the foothills and Jacob, you think you're actually moving out of your favorite terrain. Oh no. That you're moving from that into the the mountains. That there's there's no way around it. This valley is about played itself out. And that from here out, you actually have like beyond this valley, it wasn't just hills moving, you know, you know, to the east and to the west, but it's been more jagged mountains you've been walking between in this hilly valley. Uh, but as you get to the end of it, you're getting more and more just higher up in the mountains. The, the valley is slowly, though it's a valley, uh, been rising toward those mountains that are the, the Regtet Hegyek Mountains. And you can see up ahead a cleared spot on the side of what would have been uh, a wooded mountain, but it's also like getting into the mountains that have more uh, stone-like peaks on them. So you're getting much, much higher. And the closer you guys get to it, and this is getting closer to nighttime, you can see in it, you know, so far away, this cleared area, that it must have been a quarry. The way mm. that that stone has been sheared out of this thing, massive blocks, like a, you know, not, I couldn't give it in like percentages, but huge amounts of this mountain have been moved away. And it looks like the track is moving right through that quarry. Interesting. And you said how far are we from it? Uh, that it's probably just about like a tenth of a mile up ahead of you. I mean, do you guys want to check this out? Might as well while we're passing it. We might get some yeah. useful information. Agreed. Yeah. See, see what it was. Because, uh, I mean, quarries, that means civilization at least somewhat at nearby. Some point. Typically, yeah, yeah. Sometime in the past. So get a. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Sometime in the past. But, like, get to. We'll start heading in that direction and see what we can glean from it. When you get to, like, it, it's almost full on dark. Um, you are aware that in this quarry area, and that's what it is, that there are campfires in different areas. Uh, that it looks like different beings have moved as moved through this area. That this is a good stopping point for them. Any of them still warm? Uh, I'm saying that as it's getting darker, you're seeing dotted oh. just, that there's mm. campfires out there right oh. now. Yeah, uh, so different things are out there, um, and it would probably be a good time for you too, Jacob, to cast another one of your uh, spells to determine what things are near. If you still wanted to do that sort of thing, yeah. Based on our distance away, though, just and them being lit by the campfires, are we able to tell what they are or what some of yeah. the things are? Uh, n- n- no, you probably, just that there's light, there's a light source. How is many a, campfires are we do we Really think we big say? campfire, or is it a more people-sized <laughs> campfire? Yeah. Because uh, my thing doesn't give me numbers. Okay, so you don't get... Um, distance in, at night, campfires, that's a tough one, just like the glow of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but none seem like bonfires. You yeah. would think that it'd be like a, a typical campfire for your size, but then the distance and the quarry itself could play yeah. tricks on so, that. So could be giants, might not be giants. Yeah, and so, how, how many do we think we see? Five, I'm th- I'm sorry. Five. Five. And, five different campfires. And so are you casting that though, Jake? Yeah, I'll go ahead and, and, and spin a spell slot, and so I'll, I'll be able to tell, you know, the type of creatures, but I won't be able to get the number. Okay, um, you're getting one hit that's like an undead-like hit, uh, and it's not that far away from you, and it feels just the same as the last time you did that, mm-hmm. you think that one of those trees is very close to right here, that this is one of those points. Uh, but there They're are no... They're almost like mile markers. 
Yeah. In a Ooh. lot of ways, yeah. Ooh. But there are no dragons flying overhead right now. Um, and, you know, giants are not one of your thing to pick up on. Okay, yeah. All right, so do we want to do lit camp because we're brazing it out? Yeah, might we as don't... well. Yeah. You know, main, maintain the deception. Maintain the deception, right. Yes, 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 yes. All for this, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do you want to cast your pingers so that if somebody comes into the... <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I think having alarm would be a, a, a useful thing. I am so calling it that from now on. <laughs> you have Lasden's Light and Black Widow's Walk. I will so cast pingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll throw two pingers up around the around where we're sitting to give us a good... Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll put them out a, a, a ways back so that way if something's coming down the typical trail, we'll mm -hmm. get it there. And then something a fur bit further up the path and, and put it there. So if it's traveling along this area, I'll know... 60 feet before it gets okay, to us. Okay, gotcha. That sounds fine. Okay, so in the regular, and so lit camp, uh, it does feel a little bit like you're, you know, you forgot to put your pants on yeah. this yep. morning that uh, <laughs> you're Got in this area. Confident. Because you know there's a lot of very bad things right in this area. Uh, let me just roll to see who's on which watch. Are you keeping the same one for Jacob's? I'll go back to watch? the morning. Okay, back to your okay, uh, the, yeah, the first so I'll, one. I'll be second. It's crawl, okay, so crawl's up first. Okay, got it. Um, I'm afraid of no ghosts. But are you afraid of giants? I am. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a little nervous about ghosts. They're kind of hard to hit. Uh, you guys are just just getting into your, um, you know, you're kind of getting comfortable. You're you're bedding yourself down. Uh, Crawl is on watch, and Jacob, you're awakened because you get a hit from one of your alarms. And uh, as you're pinged, so yeah, yeah, you get a ping, big ping. Uh, and Crawl, whoever she is nearest to, probably like two of you at the same time. We'll say it's Zellin and Boris. You know, you know, shakes both of you and say something very large is walking in our direction. My right immediate now. idea is to like grab a bow and draw, but we don't yeah, want to do that. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm just, yeah, uh, act um, casual. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> act like we belong here. Really, like do that exactly. Yeah, and I'm gonna just, tell. You, tell uh, let's alert, kind of loose weapons, but not yep. full draw yet. Yep, yep. Um, if if Crawl is closest. Um, make sure that she knows to confirm that we're here for the meeting. You know, act like we, well, we I'll, know about I'll, this meeting. I'll take point. You'll do you it? Know, okay. I'll, I'll move okay. so Who's hard. got okay. the best deception? You probably I've got have, a plus four. Okay, your charisma is probably an important thing to you, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. And as the, all of that's happening, there is obviously a giant that is walking by and not very far because as far as I can tell, you guys didn't move off what seems like the track into this area. Uh, and it walks like right by your camp, goes and sniffs. He goes, ah, and you can see just the, like the frame of its face in the dark from like whatever, like your know, glow of moonlight there is right now. And it says, where do you go? To the meeting. Roll it. Typical look of disgust and whatnot. 17. <sighs> and it walks on. And as it gets out of eyesight into the dark, it says, you stink like human and walks on. And then somewhere out there, you hear a crunch where it must have finally sat down, broke off a tree, and is probably finding a place to sleep right now. Glad it smelled human because it should smell feces. I, I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder if we should move a little further back so we're not maybe right on the path if people are going to be coming through here. Should we, should we move maybe Wait, a little bit? did it trip bit? my other one or is it within 60 feet of us? Um, no, it, it like of the, the, the triangle that yours made, it clipped one of the triangles. Oh, no, I just did all, along the trail because I only had two spell slots oh, left today. Yeah, it would have tripped all of them. Okay, good. So <laughs> making sure that it did get 60 feet further it away from us. It didn't just go ping and appear. <laughs> yeah, like, no, like it came it in. It tripped the said, middle mm, one. Smells like whatever. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, what he was saying was oh, that it, it tripped the one and then is like 10 Talk. feet away from us where it decided to sleep. No, it went past your, Thank your, God. your third one. Yeah, because yeah. if, if it was that close, then yeah, sure. But Second we still one. have those um, those spells going, so we're still going to know if something's coming along the way, so we'll have a bit of a warning. I think we're okay. I think we should be fine. Okay. Because if we move, then I've wasted my spell slots, and I'll just know about this random pe patch of <laughs> area. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's on the trail again. Thank you. <laughs> For eight hours, just letting you know. Someone's here. Oh, yeah. Someone's there. And if we move, and I keep on getting woken up by everything walking by here, I'm going to be a little upset if that information's not <laughs> You won't get any benefits here, right? from it. All right, so into the, the next shift, that was um, Boris's shift. Yep. Uh, everything went just fine. Just I thought it was Kroll's shift. Quiet. That was Kroll's Kroll shift. Kroll was first. Kroll was first. Yeah. Then Boris is second. Okay. Uh, Zellin's shift is fine as well. Jacob's. And Jacob's is fine too. Yeah. So in the morning, you know, you guys are putting your camp together. Uh, there is, as you're looking down, I say it's not down, it's more up into this excavated area, this 
um, quarried area, you can see that there are various beings of large size that are moving uh, and you're know, getting themselves together uh, as they're they're heading through that quarried area. And to see the quarry now, you know, the the, the size and the scope of this thing, uh, it would be a geologist's dream that even from this distance, Zellen, you're looking at various kinds of, of granites, yeah, uh, but of tourmalines, mm. just everything you can imagine you've seen thus Warts. far that mm. has been part of both what seemed like the Kremlin Protectorate and stuff that you're associating with old Bravis, a lot of that stone must have come from this area. Interesting. Right, right here at the edge of the, um, uh, the Hedgedet uh, Mountains. So uh, you can see that a lot of the stuff is coming from right here. Jacob, go ahead and roll a survival. We'll do. And uh, we're not in my favorite terrain anymore, are we? No, we're not. Doesn't matter. Not 20. 25. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you walk off just a, a few steps to uh, you, your morning constitutional, um, <laughs> <laughs> that you see that there is just a little bit to your east, right at the edge of where that wrinkle in the ground was. Mm -hmm. It's different now because of the quarry, how land has changed you can see there is a fairly narrow draw, uh, like a creek had cut it or was run off from this quarry as it diverted streams from a long time ago. And it looks like it runs into an area that might be one of a lot more cover. Um, and if those giants were pacing you, they could still be down below there somewhere. But it looks almost like this might have been a cut, like trench that was right at the head of this drop off to divert water. and it is certainly large enough to give you cover from both sides. Absolutely. And it's a, but it's a real narrow point for an ambush. It would also be a place that giants couldn't walk in. True. Let's go. Could they walk above? Uh, above or below, but it'd be difficult to know if they could see into it for the tree yeah, cover. Above wouldn't be a problem because yeah, we would I, have I guess that cover. There's the spot, yeah. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's go with that. There. Definitely sounds like the best, best course of action. Mm -hmm. Aside from all those really cool rocks, that's about all we got from the core. Is quarry. there anything else that... And Watching all the things leaving, are they taking? Are they all following a particular path? They are. The direction you probably would have gone in had you not seen this on that 20, you would have followed that same way to go through the quarry. It looks like, just looking at how the ground's falling, that if this was done as some kind of a trench to prevent erosion on the lower side of the quarry, uh, that it should run the length of the quarry on its eastern side. Okay, okay so that could be good. But okay. right, you're Let's traveling. Get moving, then. You're traveling yeah. through the day in this, and it does provide good cover. Awesome. Nice. And every once in a while, you you hear the whoosh of it, um, and one of those wormlings goes flying over, or it could be the same one or the same one of a few that are just flying over the whole area. It's difficult <sighs> to say if it's more and more, yeah. or if it's the same ones that are actually doing some kind of like a scouting or they're watching for well, something. When we were out of cover and moving, you know, brazenly. Did we see bunches of them circling or was no there one still circling us? It, it always, you never saw more than one in the sky at a time. But who knows if it was the and same did we, one we did saw. Did we see or... some while we were in the open, like outside yes, by the course? Yes, okay. Circling us or moving in the vicinity? They would, uh, it's like they're, they're running like a spirograph. They seem to circle the area. They'll fly straight for a while, then circle an area. I guess constantly so watching. So just having them observe. The whole I trail wonder. is the number of ava yeah. available. About midday. Uh, the, the the defile that you're in widens out and you can tell there's been some different kind of erosion as the topography has changed. And you find these carved stones, these blocks that would be like like the size of a lazy boy chair, you know, something large like that. But it looks like the way that it's carved as though it had, if you could picture a person standing upright and then if they folded themselves into like a, a fetal position, but like not on their side. So sitting like with their knees to their chest? Right. And their legs really like bound up and their arms tucked in close. It would almost form almost a cube, like a block of what they are, as though somebody carved that just that way. The detail is amazing. And one of these things is half buried in dirt that's washed down from above. Are we going to encounter a Medusa? That would one's, suck. One's on its side. It looks like it's carved that way. But that's the only thing you found in this thing that was different than just, I think this is a cut thing a long time ago that's now just eroded itself out. Yeah. And I mean, despite, like, we've seen a lot of weird stuff. The first thing that I would say is I look over at Zelen. I said, Zelen, is there, that looks like something that it could just stand up and start fighting us. Is there any magic coming from that thing? It's an ancient golem. That's um, worse. Yeah. That so would I'll, suck. I'll yeah. detect magic, but uh, something that I want to look at is do they each look different? Are these people that have been turned to stone and each one is unique 
or are these carvings? The uniqueness is actually the grain and the stone. But other than that, they look to be carved fairly identically. Okay. Maybe subtle changes, but not as unique as I one person. I can't see faces to, to be able to see no, the your heads hair. Are, heads are tucked down. Any any roll we can make that would actually tell us that this was chiseled, this was carved uh, by, by tools? That's What's the art thing? Uh, that's perform is the one, yeah. I think. But um, uh, yeah, I, I would think, think an, an appraisal. Investigation. Investigation yeah. would be the best we'd have. So you can okay. roll an investigation with that. 16. 18. 21. Four. <laughs> Thanks, Crawl. Yeah, everyone above a 15, you do note they do look like they've been chiseled. The way that the shape okay. of the grain okay. is and the pieces that are missing. What's a good thing. But yeah. did you say you're casting detect they're magic? Yeah, I'm going to do detect can magic. Can you do that as a ritual or is that just a spell yeah. you cast? Uh, I can do that as a ritual. Okay. Always good. Yeah. Always nice to have. Save spell slots, yeah. Um, I'm they yeah, do. Alarm can be done as a ritual. Can they, you do ritual casting? They are magic. They're they all, are magic. The, there's three of them here. One's half buried. Uh, all three of them are magical, and they contain transmutational magic. They contain. So these are definitely magic, and they can train. They contain but transmutational they radiate. magic. Um, can I so tell if it's change. good magic or bad magic? No. <laughs> so that, that's not a thing to tell. Um, transmutational. Can you tell with your knowledge of the arcane? You know, like an arcana check what kind of transmutation magic they contain? Like, if we say, you know, Klaatu Barada Nikta, are they going to wander off? Or will they turn into cheese periodically? Um, <laughs> I would like to, I would like to roll <laughs> checking for cheese. Okay. I cast yeah, that, check that, for that cheese. That was exactly not... Natural 20. I know everything in the world. It's 2020. <laughs> it's actually a cake. <laughs> You believe that at the right command or the right magic that these things would unfold themselves into bipedal beings and do something. Oh, great. They're golems on standby. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Yeah, I wonder if we could make them work for us, though. Well, do there's a lot to... of words in every language that exists. I doubt we can find the right ones. Yeah, uh, until we have a command word. And I'm not sure if you can just like lean against a golem for an hour and become attuned and know its command words. <laughs> um, I vote get the hell out of Dodge so we don't accidentally say something and get beaten up by rocks. Well, for you, for your benefit, Zellin, you can remember where the spot is. And with this trench the way that it is, you could find them again pretty easily if you wanted to figure something else out and, like about them in the in the future. Yeah, I, I just think it's interesting because it doesn't, are golems always bad? No, they're, they're perfectly they're, neutral. Yeah, they're explicitly not bad. Okay. They obey their programming. If that programming is punch the thing, we're the thing that's going to get punched. Yeah. Okay. All right, so- Look at it and start saying longing, rusted, 17, daybreak. Shut up. <laughs> And so as you walk for the rest of that day, and it's, it's still, it's not dark, it's not coming on as dusk, uh, but it's later in the day that you, the defile itself is flattening out, but there's a lot more trees. Uh, apparently that whole area that had fewer trees was something involving the, the quarry itself. You're past that, and as you're looking further up, you can see at the, the height of this foliage, a very pointed, very peaked mountain. And right through the middle of that, there is a massive hole that goes the whole way through. Through that, you're seeing blue sky. And you know, finally, only three or four, maybe five miles away, you're looking through the gate of the ages. Thanks for listening. Check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Empire's Edge for updates and commentary. You can also find behind-the-scenes information at mattsinkovich.com and theempiresedge.com. If you'd like to support us, you can do so at subscribestar.com slash the-empires-edge. <laughs>